Now let's talk about the knife brushes. This is my, my new favorite feature in uh, ZBrush 2021.7. And to show this off, let's just grab really quickly. Uh, we'll grab a Cube 3D, drag it on canvas, go into Edit Mode, make Poly Mesh 3D. Let's change our material over here to uh, Skin Shader 4 so we can see it a little bit better. Um, and in fact, let's go ahead and turn on our X symmetry. So we're going to see we're going to be symmetrical across this X axis here. Uh, and that's just, we, we can move our model across uh, the X symmetry there. And then um, underneath geometry, let's go in here. I'm just going to give myself some more geometry. So if I turn on polyframe up here, we can say divide, divide, divide. And let's go ahead and say delete lower. So now we have uh, just a bunch of geometry sitting in our scene. So if you hold down control shift and we click on that, these are our modifier uh, brushes. By default, it's visibility. So control shift drag will show these points and control shift drag out here again, we'll invert that and control shift tap will bring it back. However, if you go hold down control shift and go in here, you see there's a whole bunch of other options in here. And one of them, well, two of them, are the knife options. So we have knife curve and knife lasso. Now really quickly before we get to those, I'm going to go over here to trim curve and we're going to talk about this functionality. So trim curve, again, we have X symmetry turned on. So keep that in mind. If I go to this front here and I hold down control shift and, you know, use trim curve across, number one, you're going to notice it doesn't work across symmetry. So if I wanted to, you know, put this across symmetry, I'd have to go into geometry, well, first we'd have to go in here to deformation and mirror across the X and then geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld, and that would make it symmetrical. Another thing you'll notice is it works fine if you just do a straight cut across and it'll actually, what it's, essentially what it's doing is it's slicing the mesh, uh, which again, if you hold down control shift, you know, you have slice curve. So it's slicing the mesh and then it's, let's undo this. So it's slicing the mesh. And then if we hold down control shift and tap this polygroup here, it's geometry, modify topology, deleting that geometry, and then it's closing uh, the holes in here. There it is, it's closing holes, which if you're just doing a straight cut, it works perfectly well. Where it kind of falls apart is if you go through here, oops, let's switch back to, hold down control shift, switch back to trim curve, and you see, okay, I'm gonna curve, just a quick overview of curve brushes. If you hold down uh, control shift and you start pulling it out here, uh, that's gonna go into the curve mode. And then if you tap alt twice, that's gonna do a sharp curve. So you get a sharp angle, and if you tap Alt once, that's going to give you a kind of a soft curve. And when I let go, again, because it's slicing and then running a close holes operation, this is what trim curve is going to give you. It's going to kind of slice, and then it's going to close holes, and it's going to kind of give you kind of a really bizarre uh, transition. So the coolest thing in the world is instead of that, if you hold down Control Shift to go into Knife Curve, and we use Knife Curve, same idea, Control Shift drag, and we have uh, X symmetry turned on, so we'll go to the side here. Control Shift you know, pull down our line, use space bar to move it around and then tap alt twice. And we'll do that again, that stair stepping pattern here. It slices through the mesh and it fills the hole with really nice geometry. You know, it's actually, you know, very, very uh, usable geometry in here. So not only is it just filling a hole appropriately, it's also giving you nice quads throughout here. And if I go to the front here and I hold down control shift, and again, we'll just do that stair step pattern out this way. It's going to do it across symmetry. Totally totally awesome like this is for me this is a game changer if i'm just going through here and i want to get some shapes going so i'm going to kind of shrink this down a little bit kind of like we did in the previous demo and we want to go through here and just start you know slicing through like so and just kind of getting a different shape through here and then if i want to use my bevel brushes bb a for bevel arc i can go across here and just you know put in a bevel arc really quickly and just start dialing in you know we can go across this way just start dialing in, you know, the you know, slicing through the shape and then cutting through. And in fact, we can go uh, from this direction, and we can say, you know what? Let's let's cut in like so. We'll cut in. Oh, we can hold down Control Shift. We're gonna go in from the top. And if it ever doesn't do it on the first try, just give it a second try here. And we'll go through again. There we go. And so we can slice right through here. And again, it's leaving behind another a separate poly group as well, which is really useful. Uh, so we'll go in from the top here, like so. And we got a nice light weighted, you know, metallic object, let's say. Now, if I take my undo slider and we undo all the way back to where we just had this shape here, remember uh, we did knife curve and we know how to use curves now. You can also do knife lasso, very similar. You can go through here and just use your lasso to kind of go through and slice out uh, pieces like this. And again, it works with symmetry. So we have X symmetry turned on and go through here and use it symmetrically to kind of go through and slice things out. Uh, also keep in mind, you can do pretty broad shapes and just go through and slice uh, through some things. So if you want to, you know, slice up different pieces, uh, you can absolutely do that. Now I'm going to show you 
an even better way, in my opinion, a better way to do this. And that's using, if you hold down control shift, we'll go back to knife curve and we'll hold down control shift. And then with control shift held down, press the space bar and then turn on B radius. So by default, if you use the knife radius uh, or the brush radius, you can hold down control shift. And then again, we'll do that stair step pattern through here and we'll cut through and it's gonna leave behind uh, a, a little cutout section. Well, what if I wanted to do the opposite? What if it's like, well, I wanna cut through, uh, I just wanna kinda leave the, the thing I'm slicing, cut it out. Uh, and you can absolutely do that. And again, it's based on your brush radius size. So if you look at my brush radius, I'll make my brush size a little bigger here. There's an inside and an outside ring. So that focal shift is what it's looking at here. So if I make my brush radius, you know, this big, look at the radius of that focal shift. And then again, hold down control shift. And this time I'm gonna cut through. And again, we'll, you, we'll do that stair stepping, which is so useful. And then this time before I let go, I'm gonna hold down alt. And what it's gonna do is slice that out. Now, if that's too thick, you know, again, that's the, the focal shift brush radius controlling that. I'm gonna tap S on my keyboard or go up here to my dynamic draw size. And I'm gonna make this smaller. And now I can go through here and I can literally slice this up into armor plates. But again, so again, you can just kind of dial in the radius, how you want to slice through the geometry, hold down alt, and it'll go and cut through. Now, really another, you know, that's also really cool. So now you have two exactly, uh, you know, if I hold down control shift, here's a thing. So if I hold down control shift and I have knife curve here and it's like, well, I want to switch to visibility really quickly, just tap control again. That'll go into visibility mode, grab a little piece of this, control shift A is visibility grow all. And now you have this entire piece by itself. So if you wanted to go in here to like subtool split and like split hidden into its own piece, now you have two separate pieces here uh, that are split uh, again into their own subtools. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll just undo all this all the way back and we'll take the second subtool and we'll delete it out of our scene. And now we're just back here to this poly mesh cube. Uh, and again, we'll scale this in just a bit. So let's show this off again. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna, again, we're gonna slice through here and we'll do a jagged cut and we'll hold down alt so that it cuts through here. And if I wanna keep cutting this one up, but I don't wanna really wanna to touch this one, just be sure that uh, we have basically two polygroup islands. Remember, if we hold down control shift, if you want to, you can switch to select rectangle, grab a little piece of this one, control shift A. So this is its own island. This is its own geometry island, control shift drag. This is its own island, two separate pieces. They're not, there's no verts shared between them, right? So if I hold down control shift uh, with knife curve and I slice through all the other, uh, all both of these objects and I hold down alt, it'll slice through both uh, islands, right? However, if I hold down control shift and stop between them and hold down alt, it's going to completely ignore this one. It's not gonna continue through and like make another line or anything like that. It's going to stop. So this is really useful for like light weighting things or like going through really quickly and like chopping this thing up. Oops, slice through and then again. like so. And now I have a bunch of different objects in here that I'm free to do with what I want. In fact, because it's given me polygroups, remember, if you want clean geometry, we have X symmetry turned on still. Uh, we can go through here, we can say Ziri Mesher, let's say depth size down to zero, uh, half, keep groups, smooth groups down to zero since it's already smooth, hit Ziri Mesh, and that'll go through and look at your polygroups and give you nice new geometry. If that's not low enough, you know, keep hitting half or half and then just keep a Ziri Meshing down. And again, it'll give you nice, clean uh, geometry.